Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be making southern fried catfish. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do to my catfish, I have four fillets right here. I'm gonna go ahead and massage that with some mustard and mayo. You do not wanna skip this step. This is gonna give it a nice flavor. It's gonna make it nice and tender as well. So just go ahead and rub that all in. It also gives a nice base so the flour does have something to stick to. Perfect. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of paprika on top and we're gonna set it to the side. Go ahead and set this to the side. And now we're gonna start on our flour. So right here, I do have self-rising flour. I do have a seasoned fish fry which is this brand right here, New Orleans. And I also have some cornmeal, okay? All right, so I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of onion powder. And we are gonna taste our flour before we actually start frying it. I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon seasoning. I have some celery seeds. I have some cayenne pepper. And if you want a little bit more spicy, you can add more if you like. I'm also gonna add some accent seasoning. It's up to you, this is optional. Also gonna add just a little bit of pepper. Now let's go ahead and mix this up. All right, and now we're gonna take, we're gonna start breading the catfish. All right, so now we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna put it right inside of the breading. And you wanna make sure you get that breading all over, so you are gonna make sure that you press it in to the fish. Make sure you do that to both sides, and then go on ahead and set it to the side. Now we're gonna finish the rest, and then we'll be back and we'll be ready to start frying our fish. Now we're just gonna go ahead and drop in our catfish, and we're gonna cook it for about three to five minutes on both sides. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and allow it to cook on the other side for another five minutes or until it becomes nice and golden brown the way I like it. Right, guys, so now we're just gonna go ahead and remove the fish. It's been about 10 minutes. And just look at that, guys. It looks amazing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sit it on a rack. All right, guys, my fish is all done. Just take a look. And just look at that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and also stay tuned for more recipes.